I feel obligated. I feel like I have a responsibility to talk about safety, safety equipment, proper safe cutting techniques when using a chainsaw and stuff like that. I mean, it really does hit close to home on a topic like this. I was probably about five or six years old and my dad was cutting a tree down that was really close to our house. It was actually right on the corner of the driveway. And I was walking home from my friend's house that lived like two houses down. And I pass my dad and he's up, you know, in the tree cutting limbs off and stuff like that. I go inside and then uh, maybe five minutes later, if even that, my friend from next door is walking over and my dad's on the ground. And I was, I didn't witness anything, I didn't hear anything, but somehow along he, he told my friend, you know, go get Chris's mom, go get Chris's mom, go get Chris's mom, or call 911, something along those lines. And I don't even really remember to this day, I'm going to have to check with my mom, but somehow my dad fell out of the tree. Whether he was cutting a branch and that thing really was under tension or something like that, spraying up and he fell out, or I don't know what happened. Like I said, I'm going to have to check with my, you know, my uncles and my mom to find out for sure, but he fell out of the tree. And he landed and broke his femur. I'm pretty sure it was his right femur. And he was laid up for quite some time, almost a year from that break. They had to insert a rod into his leg. And they had that rod in there for quite some time. And at some point the doctor said, you know what, because of your, your uh, active lifestyle, he would, you know, go skiing, skydiving, snowmobiling, motorcycle riding. Uh, even with my, my one uncle, they would go and buy junk cars from the junkyard for 50 bucks and drive it off into the woods and there was always this one little berm back there that they would try to dukes a hazard you know fly over the berm or try to roll the car over and they're doing this stuff without helmets and safety equipment not wearing seat belts and everything else so the doctor said you know what we can't keep this rod in your leg with the kind of lifestyle you're living we have to take that out of there that's why it was laid up for a year because after everything healed and the bone you know fused back together and all that they took the rod out and something along the lines the doctor said if you happen to get into an accident or something like that and you break your leg again this rod could potentially take your life you know take your leg uh, it, it wouldn't be worth it to keep it in there I'm not a doctor or anything like that I don't know the exact medical conditions or what he was talking about but just something as not thinking and not going over the proper techniques it really took a year of my dad of his, it really took a year of my dad's life and he, he's laid up in bed for a year he's in a wheelchair he's in a cast all this stuff he missed out on a lot that he couldn't do he couldn't work and provide for his family and everything like that it, it's something to think about and also for the fact that if he got into another accident he could potentially lose his leg it could have been worse too I'm not sure if he was up in the tree with a chainsaw or you know just a regular bow saw or what the case was but it could have been a lot worse I mean he could have died then instead of years ago you know years later being killed you never know what's gonna happen so I, I almost feel there's a responsibility there's a sense of urgency when it comes to a topic like this and my decision to make a series of videos on chainsaws and maintenance and stuff like that I'm not an expert I'm just a regular guy I'm not a lumberjack I'm not I don't work with the Forest Service I own a chainsaw a few of them I have some woods I cut down a few trees that are dead standing to chop up for firewood but it's important to practice the safety habits and it's important to practice proper cutting techniques and be aware of when a tree is under tension or under compression and stuff like that and be aware how that tree is going to move be aware of the physics involved in it it's something really to think about and research when you buy your chainsaw you're buying this thing not knowing the power it has and the dangers it has not even reading the manual or anything like that you're just out there filling it up and going at it you know you're not thinking about what could happen to avoid what you don't want to happen so I urge everybody just to brush up on the safety topics brush up on the physics involved be aware of kickback with these chainsaws just be aware of this stuff before you go out and do something like this I thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video it's really personal to me to have to share something like this and I feel like I, I need to share this so it really hits home with everybody that's watching or that everybody that's thinking about going off and using a chainsaw and cutting down a tree and something like that especially when you're inexperienced it, you need to think about what could happen just so you can slow down a little bit and say you know what if I do this I do that maybe this will happen maybe that'll happen 
maybe I should do something slightly different. Maybe I should have somebody standing by just in case they need to call 911 or something like that. It's really an obligation and, like I said, a responsibility if I plan on making a series of videos about chainsaws. I, I couldn't not have a video like this where you guys need to be aware of what could happen. I thank you guys again. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, especially your relatives and your family members and the ones you love. Definitely check out some of my other videos. I thank you guys so much.